Do you have a honeycomb table on your CO2 laser machine that looks ghastly and you want to give it a fresh look? Welcome to MW Laser, my name is Matthew and in this video we're going to have a look at cleaning the honeycomb table on your laser machine. Now while researching for this video I found a lot of products recommended by lots of uh, laser users for cleaning their honeycomb on their laser machines and some of these solutions I'm going to list in the item description below. But in this video we're going to have a look at two of those which is the oven cleaner and the concrete cleaner concentrate. So if you don't have a high pressure washer to rinse off after you've let the solution soak then I recommend trying to borrow one or hiring one. Otherwise you'll need a uh, pipe cleaner to scrub in all the honeycomb surfaces and then rinse off with water. The first step is to remove the honeycomb table from the machine and take it outside. On this machine it's as easy as removing the four screws fixing it to the lifting platform. As my control test, I'm going to use just the pressure washer with water to see its effect on the honeycomb and the residue. And here you can see that it has very little cleaning effect with just only the high pressured water. Safety first, read the chemical and the handling directions carefully and use the necessary personal safety equipment. For test one, I use sodium hypochlorite. Now this particular product is Glitz Outdoor Cleaner Concentrate. It is a concrete cleaner concentrate and it was highly recommended by quite a few laser users for cleaning the honeycombs on their machines. The active chemical in this product is sodium hypochlorite, 50 grams per litre, and I diluted this with water at a ratio of 1 to 1 into a pressure sprayer. This is just a standard garden pressure sprayer that you would use for pesticide or weed control around the home. Because honeycomb has got lots of uh, surface area, it's a good idea to rotate the honeycomb all four different ways and then reapply the solution so that it gets in to soak on all those surfaces. Then you leave it soak for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I use a high pressure washer to rinse the solution off and also to help move some of those stubborn stains. Don't forget also that it's a good idea to turn the honeycomb around and uh, spray the solution on the back, let it soak and then also use the pressure washer to rinse it off again. It's done a pretty good job for the uh, first soaking. There's a patch there obviously that I missed, but um, that came off really well. So with this honeycomb table, this one was uh, hasn't been cleaned in more than 18 months and there was a lot of uh, wood residue and glues on the honeycomb. Now, as you see over here, there is one little stubborn stain that didn't want to come out, but the purpose of this was just to give it a good clean so it's not as ghastly to look at as before and I could reapply it but I'm happy with the result. The second chemical test I used was Selly's Oven Clean. Now this comes in an aerosol can and it's much easier to prepare as you don't have to dilute it with water. Now this is just a standard oven cleaner that you might use around the home. Now this particular product contains sodium hydroxide, monoethylamine and ethanol. It's uh, easy to spray onto the honeycomb, but you may need a few cans to cover a large area or to reapply if you've got some stubborn stains. Again, don't forget to rotate the honeycomb if necessary to get all those surfaces covered with the cleaner. Allow it to soak for about 15 to 20 minutes and then pressure rinse with water. So this is the honeycomb that I did with the oven finger and it came up really well and you can see that there is some colour left in it. There's a few stains, but generally all the soot from the MDF and flyboards um, has been washed off. So this honeycomb table here, this uh, 900 by 600 one, I use this uh, for mainly acrylic, and I use it pretty much every day. So with this one, there was quite a lot of um, acrylic buildup and stuff on it, as well as some um, glues from the timbers. But with this one I used the Sally's Oven Cleaner, or just your standard oven cleaner that you use in the home. Just remember to use the appropriate safety equipment when you're handling any sort of chemicals. So the results from my experience, both solutions performed very well. There were some stains on both that couldn't be removed even after I repeated the cleaning, but I didn't use any sort of wire brush or pipe cleaner. I just used the solution and the high pressure water. The oven cleaner was easier to use as it was packaged ready to go and it didn't require diluting. Um, but the outdoor cleaner was less messy and it was less irritating with the fumes than the oven cleaner and it was more cost effective than the oven cleaner by volume. 
So thanks for visiting MW Laser. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now I will put a link to some of these cleaning products in the description below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos in the future. And until next time, take care. Cheers.